stretch canvas or linen or any other kind of fabric on a frame. Um, what I showed you before is a stretcher, a stapler, and the obvious, a piece of pre-primed linen and a frame. Um, so in this video I'm going to show how to stretch it. Um, right now what I'm doing, I'm making sure that at each side of the square of the piece of linen and the frame, um, there is about there's an extra piece of linen that I can fold and staple it onto the piece of wood. Over here I'm using a already used frame. I didn't like the fabric um, that was on the frame so I took it off and I'm uh, re-stretching uh, a piece of linen that I prefer. So first you're just putting the linen in the right place, folding it around the frame and making sure it's all, all uh, in the right place like I said and you staple. When you're stapling make sure you're doing it in a 45 degrees angle from the um, weave of the linen so that the, it doesn't tear the linen when you pull it. So this is the first staple you can see it's right dead in the center um, and it's at a 45 degrees angle. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to flip it over on the other side and stretch it right at the opposite side of the frame, at the parallel side of the frame. And so it's the same thing. Uh, this time I'm using the stretcher in order to give it a little of a tuck. But don't stretch too hard because you might tear the um, linen out of place. I have a little bit extra linen so I fold it in order for the grip of the stretcher to be better. And you give it a good tuck. Tuck and pull and staple it. And so this is what you want the linen to look like. You want it to have this kind of a um, face or mouth or lips or whatever the analogy, but basically this kind of a, a stretch from a staple to a staple. And it creates um, two kind of waves in the linen or in the other fabric, whatever you're pulling. And now basically your job is going to be to um, pull the wave away from the center of the fabric in order to create a smooth <coughs> stretched out um, fabric on the frame. So now I'm in the perpendicular angle of the first two staples and I'm again pulling it in the dead center of the uh, square and what you can see is already right there is the two uh, the upper lip of the stretched linen became a triangle and that's exactly what you want to look for you want to pull it and make this kind of triangle and staple it while it's there also in a 45 degrees angle and then you flip it and do the same on the other side. And what you're going to have is a, another square inside this square. Um, and you're going to continue what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue pushing the wave of the fabric out from the center towards the corners of the linen, the square, excuse me, until in the end there is there is no waves and the fabric is straight the surface is smooth so as you can see here I didn't stable it yet I just wanted to show you how it's how I'm stretching it and how the moment you stretch it that, that uh, line in the middle almost disappears and that's what you want the line in the, in the middle now needs to go up into another uh, triangle and that's going to create the inner square 
also over here you staple it in a 45 degrees angle. What I'm doing now, because this is a, a relatively bigger um, canvas, is I'm putting a temporary staple at each corner of the, of the frame. Um, the, the way I'm putting the staple is it's a bit elevated, um, and so that way later on it'll, it'll be easier for me to just uh, pull it out. And so I do that on each corner, also in a 45 degrees just to make, make sure. And you can see it's already kind of pulling the linen, you can see the wave over there going straight to the corner, and that's kind of, kind of the desired effect. Um, each staple in itself, uh, if, if you pull on each staple on itself, it might uh, tear the linen or uh, even pull the entire staple out of place. So what you want to do is really um, create a balance on the frame and put enough staples around so that it doesn't, you don't have any accidents while you're pulling the uh, fabric or linen on the frame. And so again, it's the same thing. I'm putting the staple at the last corner here. And so you can see the 45 degrees angle of the staples and how the, the fabric looks on the frame with the temporary staples and the permanent ones. What I'm going to do now is do one side of the frame and put in all the staples and stretch the linen on this side with smaller canvases you can put them on a, t on a table or something elevated so um, you don't have to bend over so much this, this size was um, kind of borderline um, but uh, for the video reason, it was uh, not so bad at this height. Um, yeah, I think you should be just careful when you're pulling on the stretcher. Don't pull too strong. It can rather uh, tear the linen or fabric. Uh, but you also don't, don't want to do it uh, too weak. You want your linen to be uh, really stretched and bouncy. And so you can see how I'm moving the wave further from the center towards the corner, um, staple by staple. So here I, I just pulled out the temporary staple and now I'm going to put a permanent one. And now I'm going to do the parallel side in order to create a uh, equivalent amount of stretch on the other side. And these are all in 45 degrees angle in order to prevent the weave of the linen uh, to get undone or torn or whatnot. So 
So over here I had a little bit of access of, of the amount of linen I didn't need so much so I'm folding it in order for the uh, stretcher to have a better grip on it on the on the linen when I uh, pull it. You can also just cut it off. I prefer to cut it off at the end. And the same idea applies, you're basically moving the wave and the unstretched parts of the fabric towards the corner, out of the center. So yeah, that's the temporary one, I'm taking it out now. Now I'm going to put a permanent one. What happened here, you can see the uh, the waves of the linen are still, there is a bit that stayed in the center and that's not the uh, desir desirable uh, effect. It would be better to eliminate them from the very beginning, but you can also counter stretch um, from the third or fourth angle of the of the frame. So you can see it's still wavy. What we're gonna do now is gonna, is gonna be the two other uh, sides of the square, and it's hopefully gonna eliminate these leftover waves. The the central staple at each side of the canvas right now has a lot of tension and uh, stress on it. So the other staples we're going to add in to this side of the linen or to the frame is going to help balance it out. It, it requires a bit trial and error using the stretcher. Um, I would suggest maybe practicing on small ones before doing a big one uh, by yourself and even trying non-primed linen or non-primed non uh, uh, cotton. Uh, the reason being it, it won't tear as easily. Pre-primed canvases tend to tear e more easily. Uh, and yeah, just to get yourself familiar with different types of fabric and how much tension to put on the fabric when stretching it. And so yeah, that's one side. That's the third side. Now we're going to do the fourth one. And you can see there's still just a bit of waves. I'm hoping this uh, fourth one will just stretch the, that wave out of the off the, off the canvas. And so you need to build pressure or build tension as you go while you're stretching the linen. Um, so this is the last last um, side of the linen that I'm going to stretch. So I'm basically stretching it the most that I can without tearing it. Uh, the desirable effect of the finished product is when the surface of the linen sounds like a uh, a drum it's that tense 
Um, And so that's it. As far as stretching the linen, that's all you have to do. And as you can see, the waves from the side of the linen disappeared. They're, they're all stretched out. Um, the linen is, is looking great. Um, the only thing that's left to do is now just tuck the, the excess of the fabric that is in the back. So I'm going to show you how to fold it in a way that I like. Um, if you have a better technique, you can use that one. Basically, you fo fold the upper side, then the second one underneath, and just staple that down like here. Oh yeah, and here's the sound of the drum. That's how tense it needs to be. And so yeah, you hold the full and just staple it in. Over here it's not really important to have the 45 degrees angle of the staple, but if you just want to, to have a good habit, you could stick to the 45 degrees angle. So you do the same technique on all four sides of the frame. I try not to staple the the corners together, the joints, because if you do, um, you won't be able later on to uh, further stretch the frame if necessary. You want to leave the joints um, unconnected and flexible. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information and videos of this kind, you're welcome to subscribe to my newsletter at samalhalim.com.